Prepare yourselves for an unforgettable journey into the world of Karen madness. From mind-boggling entitlement to mind-blowing meltdowns, we've curated the most shocking and jaw-dropping moments for you to see. Let the madness begin. This neighborhood enforcer is at it again. Karen, with her HOA hat on, transforms into the street sheriff, cornering an unsuspecting man, washing his car, and lecturing him about neighborhood rules. You should never go on a property, and I hear the city won't even let people do it on the street. I'm anymore. going, uh, listen, and it I'm, will going be I'm, I'm going, I'm telling you. I'm going, I'm going, I'm wash manager, no, tell me nothing, I'm going everywhere. Do you ask them first, or you just yes, go ahead and do it? Yes. Well, maybe they don't know. But okay. I don't we're not an you. apartment. Listen, we're a listen, homeowners relax. association. We're not an apartment. Relax. I'm talking I need to you to leave now. You need to go park the car, find a spot in the street, and finish somewhere else. Okay, no problem. I, I need you to leave right now. I'm gonna have but to. I don't here. know you. You coming? Love, 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 love. Or, uh, I don't know you. Why are you coming? Telling me like that? Okay. Watch out for this wild grandma Karen. She shamelessly uses her grandkids to steal items from the store, putting these innocent kids in an embarrassing situation. It's heartbreaking to see a child cry over his caregiver's questionable actions. Here, we won't call the police. Yeah, don't call the police. I got my receipt. What about for the scooter thing? What about for the scooter you got in the back? What scooter? Right what there, the, the one that you just stole. I what is that the microwave? No, no. in the back seat. Y'all come on by. Call the police. Call them. We didn't do nothing. Yeah, I watched you walk out the store with that one in the front seat. There's not no one. The one in the back seat, go put it back. I'm going to call the police. Marcus, go put, put, put this in there. Go put it back. I won't call the police. Go put that, go put that scooter back. I won't call the police. Not worried about that so, uh, I didn't do nothing. Your brother did. Go take a picture of the scooter in his car. And we paid for this, so I don't care. No, your scooter that you walked out with. I didn't walk out, no, no, we Shut up. Goddamn mouth. Mm. 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 You want to go put it back? Do the right thing. That's a cool, it's a cool scooter. Do the right I, thing. I, I didn't do anything. Can I get a please? Hey, it's okay. It's, it's not, it's not the right thing. Sorry. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, buddy. Get in here, Doc. Here, Mark. Where my little car? Kevin Pastor loses his cool for no apparent reason unleashing a tirade on a man. Just imagine what he is preaching if his behavior is like this. Hey, sit down. Sit down. What are you, what are you coming up here to do? You want, you want to come take over the service? Uh, huh? Service. What, what do you want? What? I just want a prayer. Get out of here. Can I get, can I get a little grace? No, no you can't. No. You, you get right out of here. Get him out of here. Understand? Drag this bozo out. Pull him out. Hey, help him out. Get him out. And you know what? If anybody wants to come up here and take over the service? We'll throw you out of here, buddy. This church is not a free-for-all. This isn't an open mic. This isn't a karaoke bar. Okay? I'm the man of God here. I meet the qualifications. I run this church. And if you don't like it, then get out. This is not some church where every first time visitor and brand new believer and people who have never even read the Bible are going to come up and take over the service. Not happening. Okay? If you want that kind of watered down leadership, go to some house church with your Amish buddies and sit around the coffee table with your coffee clatch. This is a New Testament church. We have a bishop here. We have an overseer here. Like it or lump it. And if you don't like it, feel free to get up and leave the service at any time. Or 50% of people walk out. I don't care. Because you know what? I'm not going to pastor a oneness cult. Amen. I'm not going to pastor a Pentecostal church. I'm the pastor of a Baptist church. Amen. And if you're not a Baptist, then get out. Amen. No, you can't. I can't. It's my church. It's my personal preference. And this is, and this is
No, this so is not your property. Is this your property right here? Is this your property? Well, it's private. Is this your private property? It's right there, Mike. Okay, that is on that side of the street. That's on the exact opposite so, side of the street. So Just call PPA. Call PPA. Here. Let them so, deal with it. So, so you mean then your that I can't pull out here. today or park here? Today? You can park yeah. if you want to park here. Yeah, I'll move it for you. If you want to park right now, I'll move it right now. Why do you want to work with people? Why do you want to give people a hard time? We're trying to make a living. I'm here all day, and I'm trying okay. to make a living. Are you retired, too? or do you work? Uh, excuse me? Are you retired, or do you work? All right. Well, I'm asking you a question. Yeah. Why? I'm asking if you're retired, or if you work. Because if you work, you understand nurse. everybody's trying to... That's I great. have to be a nurse. Awesome. Right. That's so great. So if your wife or your child would get sick, well, God that's forbid... Great. That's great. I would I, be I, your nurse. I'm glad we have people like you. Yeah, I would I'm be grateful. Nurse. You should be. Then you should be giving us a hard time. You're giving us a hard time. We'll work with you, ma'am. If you need to pull in here, I'll move out for you. No okay, problem. I need you to not beep all day. It's not beeping, beeping right now. Not Have you been drinking coffee? <laughs> yes, I've been drinking. I've been drinking a whole lot. Have a good day, ma'am. Mm -hmm. That'd be correct, sir, because if he takes his wife and his family there, it'd be a sad thing. Why? Well, what hospital you work Because I'd be their nurse. Well, what hospital you work at? You're probably a good nurse. Kind of been doing it for a long time, right? Uh, no, actually, I'm brand new. Are you? Well, you must have did a lot of testing. You must be smart. Yeah, you got drug like some zip ties or wires or something, Jesse? What's good? You got some like zip ties or wires or something? Uh, no, zip tie. Uh, I'm sure of this, maybe. What are you doing? We're dealing with something right now. Karen drops her public transport card and goes off on a bus driver because of it. Karen, don't fault other people for your mistakes. No, ask you. Get out of the bus. Get out. I'm driving. Get out. Get out. You're not getting on the phone. Call it fake cops. Take me to see it. Do you understand? I am scared for two years, didn't know it! You're gonna find my real car right now! I'm trying to help you get through it. Help you! I don't have to pinch on you. Let's delve into the neighborhood filled with a bunch of Kevins and Karens. It's a nightmare just thinking about living among these people. You couldn't pay me enough to reside there. Sorry? I'm coming out to you! Don't do if he comes out, call the police. Do you know what? I parked my car on there because we're having a party tonight, so I don't piss anybody off. So I don't know what you've got a problem with, because I hear you've got a problem with it. Got a problem with you? Yeah, look, we've all got a problem with you, mate. What a shame. Why don't you bloody grow up? Get in! Dave! Dave! Hey, why don't you bloody... Get out! Get off me! Why don't you bloody grow up, the pair of them? And you ain't got the guts to say anything against him! You're no godless bloody wonders, a pair of you. Really? You just want to damage everybody's stuff, don't you? Keep on damaging the cars all the time. Liar. I'm what not a liar. You said against us? Flooded our garden. Why don't you piss off indoors and look at your cameras? <laughs> you got cameras as well. No, that's fine. Somebody else coming down there. I know. It's alright. Watch her. Hey? Watch her. She's coming down there. I know. So what? Sorry? Like what you're saying? Not particularly. Well, what you f looking at me for then, eh? What am I looking at you yeah. for? What are you going to yeah. do? Are you threatening me? Go on. Pfft. Don't, what do you think that is? What do you think that is if it's not a threat? Who, got who to rung say your bell? Of you. Nothing say to you, me. you scumbag. Nothing to say. Pardon? Pardon? You're not right in the head, neither. Really? Are you? 
Do you have to live with that? Takes one to know one, doesn't it? Yes. You think doesn't you're clever, it? but you're not as clever as you think you are. I'm much more clever really? than you. Really? You? Very no, much. no, 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 no. Not at all. Not at all. Do you, where do you get off on this? Where do you get off on it? Where do you get off damaging people's stuff, following them around, flooding their gardens, hey. you know, ganging up on each other? What? Hey? Like what? No, of course it's all. Again, no, you heard. Not okay. deaf as well as stupid, are you? Alright. Well, I'm. Yeah, get them down. Get them down. Please do. I just thought Bob would join you. Yeah, okay. Kevin attempts to outsmart people by asking for 10 pounds, but one guy confronts him, leading to a liar's walk of shame. Kudos for standing up against these fraudsters. Name? Uh, Midland Parkins. So Midland Parkins. This this fella here. Don't record me. Don't you, don't. This is against the policy. Against what you policy? No no no. Right. So I've just landed at Midland uh, Mid East face. Midland's airport. No, no, no. You can't record my face. Oh, we'll blur it out then. No, we'll blur it out. We'll put a picture of a no, over it. crossing your limits. My oh. Own language this um, you're crossing oh. the limit now am i am i am i Please. so when you recorded Please, me a minute ago no, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about I my have car a, I, I, you? I just have record you? your registration have you? Have you? if you don't have a 10 pound how could you spend a lot of money i didn't say i didn't have a 10 pound listen, hey, listen. don't you dare oh, shout at me like that do you understand i'm, re I'm oh. respecting you still yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Please. oh yeah oh yeah you're you, a little germ off 10 pound look at that here is your car is this everything you are piece of yeah? Thank you very much. East Midlands Parking take, Services. Take this, well, take this car and f off from here. It's, you it's my car, so who wins? Shut the f off. Get yeah? from here. East Midlands Parking Services, people. I give you East Midlands Parking Services. Yeah? Let's go now. Go off. <laughs> Watch as this out-of-control Kevin employee is holding this customer like a hostage despite him having a receipt for the purchased items. I'm gonna push the card into me, that is assault. So please move. Go get your no, manager. Go get your manager. Go ahead. Go get him. Go get him. I'm not gonna get your manager. I'm not getting him It's not on me to get him. You're the one stopping me. I, here's my receipt. Now you're, in, now you're holding me hostage against my will. Yo. Can you go get the manager? We can stand here all day. You're underpaid, man. It's cool. It's all I good. get it. Yeah, you're underpaid. I get it. It's all you're good. mad at life. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. It is. You it's cannot stop me. You cannot stop me or hold me against my will. That is illegal. You can follow me to my car if you'd like. Out the store, Dude, you, you can follow me to my I'm car if you'd like. Out the store. So now, now he's, he's blocking my way. Look at that. That's Hi. illegal. That's Hi. holding me against my will. Hi. Not gonna have somebody hold me against dude, my you're will. Just, you're on me, dude. No, I'm dude, you here. cannot legally do that. You're standing on me. No, I'm trying to go around you, it and you keep matter. getting in front of me. I you're can't wait. To I here. cannot wait to post this online. Post oh, it. Dude, TikTok's gonna blow up because of this one. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy, dude. Look at this guy. So first off, don't. your guy cannot stop my way. He cannot get in my way, and he cannot physically. No, you don't get. He cannot physically touch me. And I've been recording the whole... Yes, you did. You? Oh, I got it. bounced into me, bro. Look at that. Look at that. He cannot do that legally. That is against the law. All right, can you tell me your words are at Let's go this way. Yeah, please like, going, please, my person. Yeah, follow Watch as this Karen freaks out when these kids offer her a leaf. A bizarre reaction worth taking a look at. I took a video. I took a video. I'm a minor. I don't care. Then maybe you should act like one. I asked if you want. I don't care. Why, why are you going to fight me over a leaf? Weren't y'all just talking shit to the No! I gave you a couple other customers that seen it. So if you want to. Seen what? I offered you a leaf. 
You have your kid with. Don't Remember you? that. Okay, her grandma's outside, so I'll give her to her grandma, and we can go outside, and I can beat your. So what's up? How old are you? Doesn't matter. I don't give a. You all want to act like you're my age, then you can do it like you're my age. We offered you a leaf. Yeah. Right. Behold the antics of this crazy Aunt Granny going at these people as if there's no tomorrow. Enter the anti-mask Karen. She transforms into a nightmare, throwing a huge fit over the mask mandate in this store. Yeah, you might not want to go that way. She tripping. Don't she, she is tripping up in here. She is tripping. You want to go to jail for a long time? Just get hungry. I dare you! Can I even? No, <laughs> don't. No. I dare you! Yeah, you can don't do that. Don't hit it. Get hungry! Walmart is crazy today. She's hungry. I'm going to buy some food. Sir, please. <laughs> Hashtag Karen again. Lady, are you serious right now? <laughs> Lady, get out of the way. You are blocking my car. Oh my, are y'all serious right now? If y'all don't get your Karen and Ken out the goddamn way, move. Karen and Ken, do you really want a Whopper that bad? If y'all don't move, Move! Move! Get out the way! Get out the way! Are you serious right now? Get your out the way! <laughs> what are y'all doing? This is crazy! This is real life right now, y'all! An illegal turn! An illegal turn! You do realize that is illegal to do. Y'all do realize that they are calling the cops, y'all, over Burger King because they made an illegal turn in the parking lot. Oh, my. <laughs> this is great. This is awesome. The Karen and Kevin couple continue on standing there. Please lose your job over this. Please lose your job over this. Please, because I will get my out of the goddamn car and get the out of my way now. Get out of the goddamn way. No this lady right here. She cut me off to get to the uh, takeout for the Are you uh, drunk? burger king. Because you can't even get your words and, together. And almost hit me when I was trying to get in. I almost and hit you. To, and cut in front of me. And I don't like usually get hitting. upset, but this is. Y'all, look how close I am. This is almost hitting them. This is almost hitting them. I am not the one to play no, with. I'm not I'm, my own car. You, I'm outside my car. Exactly. This is a Karen. This is a Karen. This is a Karen and a Ken. A Karen and a Ken. Yes. Please. Come on, cops. Come on down here, please. And she's slurring her words, so oh, I really no, hope she wasn't that's driving. The point. What's the point? Okay. What's the point? What's the point? Please tell me what the point is. I realize that. You realize what? 
Because they're probably telling you how stupid you look. Did they get you? No. Did they do anything? No. Exactly. They're telling them how stupid they look. The cops finally arrive and tell the lady recording that she can drive on through. That'll be it. Oh, and he black. Yes, God. I think the police is here. Yeah, he's he's here. You see how petty this All is? Right, I can move now. I can you move see how now. petty this is? So they came in the parking lot, made an illegal U-turn. Meanwhile, we were coming in off Colonial and coming into the drive-thru, okay. right? I, do. I guess she decided to be upset and started blowing the horn. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm still pulling in. Yeah. And she got out her car and then blocked me so I can't go further because there was a car ordering. So then she stood in front of the car and is like, I'm not moving. So that's where we are. And this is what this is. Nobody hit each other. No, no, silly, petty, immature, childish. Up next, we have an encounter with this rude Karen and Kevin. They confront this worker, their car doesn't have a plate number, and yet they arrogantly insist on being right. Absolutely ridiculous. You're gonna cry now? You can be tough when she's not, but you can't be tough when I'm still tough. We can we can do it right now. Do it right now. Your worker. Oh, and they don't have a plate. They're not even supposed to not have a plate. Plate. You're dumb. Watch when you get out of work. Oh my God, I'm so Watch scared. I'm so scared. Watch when you get out, baby. I get out at eight. You I'll be ready. I will be here. I'll see you then. Okay, you little funny. Mans was having a meltdown. He wanted to go to Kankin. Karen unleashes chaos on the store manager, engaging in hysterics, yelling, screaming, and making threats. The situation escalates when she expresses hateful sentiments towards Africans. Take a look. Don't go back and forth with her. Yeah, what time do you get off? What time do you get off? Let her leave. Just let her leave. Don't say nothing to her. Don't say nothing to her. This stock will be on the list, but we're not doing it. I'm telling you, we're not doing it. I've been here for over one I'm year. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I just did it last week. When did you do it? Here? Did you do it here? What part of here? I just said. She just looked at it and said, I don't know how to do it. You looked at it and said, We don't do it. It's a difference. I'm we don't do you, it. I'm telling you, I did it here already, we don't sir. do it here. I'm telling you that. We don't do it here. We don't go to class here. We don't go to here. I'm the manager here. You ain't no manager because I was okay, here when the store manager was here. Welcome to Family Dollar. This is being monitored and recorded for your safety and convenience. Thank you for shopping at Family Dollar. Let me make a phone call. I'm out to tear this shit. Nonsense. Nonsense. I'm out to show your ass nonsense. Yeah, I hate nonsense. Africans. Won't you go back to Zimbabwe? Who you are? Who are you? Who you are? Who are you? Somebody that speaks English. Are? Somebody that speaks English. Not somebody that keeps saying, who are you? 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 Peter Trump. Are you coming here saying nonsense? You're telling me Africa. Who are you? Don't talk to my voice like that. Shut up. Shut up. Oh. 
gas and shining because it's new, but these not. Only a Karen would see a building on fire and still insist on getting a refund while the building is still on fire. Hey! Hey, go! Bro, you can get your money back! You better move your damn Move! move. I, 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 I can't move! You gonna park over there? Move! Are there people inside at all? This has got to be the most Karen moment in the entirety of time. Problem exactly. You're doing 10 miles you slow down. in a 25. The and I said, hold on, hold on, hold on. Slow down. Uh, all I said was, hey man, I understand. I was only going like 10. I understand that. You understand it's private property. I understand it's private property. I was going 10 miles an hour. I asked you, please, to slow down. And did I politely, hey, hey, slow down. Hey, stop pointing your finger at me. Stop pointing your finger at me. Look at me. He flipped me off, okay? I'll do it again. Yeah, look, look at you. Look at you. Bro, you don't. Dude, you're so mad. Okay. Look, brother. No problem. Hey, no problem. you're the one that started the problem, no, my no, guy. I asked you to slow down. And this I politely and I po wait. What did I do? This guy hey, flipped me off. Hey, hey, stop, stop worrying about him. What did I do? I asked you to slow down. And, and what did I do? He, he was doing this out his window. What did I do? He works with. I don't you. care what he did. What did I do, man? You're sitting here causing a problem for me. What did I specifically do? Tell me what I did. I politely said, hey man, I understand. I was only going like 10 miles an hour and I hope, and I said, I hope you have a good day, didn't I? Didn't I? You're so mad over nothing, bro. You created a problem over nothing. And I was going the speed limit. And I was going the speed limit. I didn't tell you like F you or anything like that. I politely said, have a good day. I politely said, have a good day and you started a bigger problem out of it. You don't worry about it, man. You started the problem. You what? I can't hear you, man. You what? He's an old. Let him be an old. I think it's a 15, but that's not the point. I was going the speed limit. He wanted to start a problem. He just wanted to start some. That's it. This Karen plays the victim card, using her pregnancy as an excuse. However, this guy sees through her act and calls her out. You I will ruin your phone. No, you're not gonna then you're going to pay for no, my phone. Won't. You're going to pay for my phone. Shut the you're going to pay for my phone. You get nervous. You're going to pay for my phone. Shut the recording off. Shut the recording off. You can do it yourself. No, because I'm out of here. Then, you're out of here. Punch your numbers and go home. If you mess up my phone... I'm not going to mess you, up your phone. You can stop recording me because you do not have my permission to record me, and I will sue you for it. I will press charges against you for it. Okay, go right on ahead because I have you all recording when you said that you was going to spray my phone and Because mess it I up. told you to stop recording me and you won't, re won't stop recording me. I see, I, see, I see why, and I will be calling Nicole, and right. I will be letting yeah. her know what is look, going on. Look, I'm calling her right now. Call her. Because this is ridiculous that yes, you had a whole attitude. Yes, it is ridiculous that you won't do your goddamn you work. Had, you, you had a whole attitude earlier today. Okay, you, was, you spend more time in the goddamn bathroom. If your pregnancy is such a disability that you can't work, you don't need to be working. You don't play these games when Nicole is here, but you'll play them when I'm here. Now you're recording me because you think I'm going to come out my neck sideways at you, and I'm not. But I'm you, not but that you, stupid. But you already did. When no, you kept, have when I called you, you out of your name? When you, I, when you raised your voice at me, you already did. She don't want to, she don't want to do the work. She spent every 15 minutes in the bathroom. And then that's because I'm, I'm pregnant. Lester. A pregnancy is not an excuse. I'm pregnant. So of course I'm going to go back and forth to the bathroom. I'm sorry, Nicole. I quit. Okay. 
Okay. Bye. Stop recording me. No. Then go do some goddamn work. No, I already, I already, I already clocked out. Then get out of my line. No, I'm wait. I'm waiting if for the If you're not on the clock, you are not allowed behind that line. I'm waiting for the code. If you're not on the clock doing work, you are not allowed behind this line. I am so sorry. Whatever stuff you're getting, I will pay for. I'm waiting for the code. Because I didn't, you've been, but you've been, but you've been throwing stuff all day. I haven't been throwing stuff at you. I've been throwing stuff out of my way so I can work around you. So, so when you got mad because Nicole and them did not prep, you did not throw no when pots. Was in the sink, how was that a bad thing, huh? You threw pots and pans it because you got mad because nobody prepped the food. Because I have to do everybody's job. But that don't mean don't for you, that don't mean for you job. to throw pots and pans in front of customers. I didn't throw them in, the cus in front of the customers. I was in the back and I threw them in but the But you seat. still, but you still threw them and why there was customers on the, out there. Uh-huh. I sure, but I was in the back. They couldn't see it. All they did was hear it. For all they know, this is foul. And I'm waiting because I'm not about to and lose my- not on my clock. I'm not about to lose my job for if you. If you're not on the clock, get out from behind the line. I'm sorry, I'm not going to get for you. And I'm about to put, I'm about to put all this, all this kind of Facebook. Go ahead, put it on Facebook and I swear to God, I'm about I to will put have you in jail quicker I'm than I'm about, to put, I'm about to put it on Facebook. I'm about to put. I'm about to put it on Facebook, and I'm about to put it on YouTube. This literally sat up here and got mad because nobody did the prep, and he's been mad all day. Take a good look at him, everybody. There he is. He, he's been mad all day because didn't nobody do prep. Now he's taking it out on me. And this crap is going straight on Facebook and YouTube. It's going viral. How is it going to go viral? Because you're not doing your job. I've you been do that to do your job. I've been doing I've been doing my I've been doing my job all day. You've not been doing your job. Yes, I have been doing my job, Lester. I I wiped down the tables. And I was about to I and I was about to wipe down tables. Would you like a cookie? The, only, like the only reason why you won't let me do my job is because you want your name on every no, last no, no, piece no. of paper. I asked you to either clean or work with customers. And as soon as two or three customers... No, you told me, you told me to work with the customers. and I Because I'm, I was doing the cleaning because you don't know what to do. Because you had seizures when you worked here the last time and it affected your memory. You're using all of these excuses to make it to where you were in the clear. But you're not in the clear. But that still, that still didn't give you the right... To sit yeah, up here. Right. Telling her business in front of everybody? Damn. Now you're sitting here recording you and you're supposed to be working. Of course I'm going to blow up. I'm tired of doing this with every freaking co-worker I have. As soon as, as soon as Nicole get here, I'm leaving. Because I'm going to let her know what really went down because okay. I'm not about to lose my job over you. But I'm not because I didn't do anything to you. Yeah, you just did work. Actually, I did do work. No, you didn't. I've been working my, I've been working my butt off ever since I got here. I've been clocked, I've been clocked in, I was clocked in. So, I, so I'm, Lester, I'm, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. So you want me? So you want me to sit here and hold my piss and make my bladder hurt? I want you to do your job. You're not doing your job. Going to the bathroom after five minutes. So you take ten minutes to be a female. I guarantee I can do it better than you. Go do your work. No, I'm not I have you. to come out here and sweep now. I gotta move you, my. You can I do have whatever to move you want. My basketball hoops and move. You can do whatever move. you want. I'm moving my basketball hoops. Oh, I got work to do. You're in the way.
Mm -hmm. Why don't you go to work by bus? Why don't you shut your mouth? Make me. No. Make me. Yeah, hit me. Give me like you did the last time with the face, with the cones. Come on. I have it all. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to sue you. you. Keep saying that, but you haven't oh, done anything. It's going to happen. Yeah, yeah that's funny happen. because every time that's you say that. Right now. That's, that's all right. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I'm documenting everything. You, you can document your they're over there. Go sit over there. No, because the ball comes over here. Work. The ball comes over here. You steal it. Remember, we had that. We had no. that problem already. Nah. nah, 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 not happening. I don't steal no balls. Ah, not, not happening. Ball in front of my house. Go to thirty-seven uh, Westbury Avenue. I don't live at thirty-seven Westbury Avenue. Thirty-one, whatever. You I don't live at thirty-one 30. either. Thirty. Well, I have it. I have it. Good for you. I don't care. You think I'm gonna care? You're gonna be summons. Good. You're gonna be coming. Good. And I'm, I'm, gonna, 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 I'm gonna get you. Dead. I'm gonna get you. You don't belong in front of my house. De, 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 de. You don't belong in front of my house. Could you run her over? You run her out. Go ahead. Say it again. Run me over. That's what you wish me dead. You said it so many times. Got you right on tape now, baby. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Good for you. Go where your children, grandchildren are. At least you don't. I, I got work. You see, I'm working out here. Get away from me. Drive me insane. You Such don't insane. belong in front of my house. You're a harassing, harassing bully. Do you know that you don't own the street? Do you know I'm working here? Do you know you don't own do the street? You know I, do you know I, Do you know you don't own the street? Do you know you do don't, you know you don't own the street? Do you know you don't own the street? Do you know you don't own the street? You live in Plainview. What's Go that got to do with anything? You don't live in front of my house. I can live anywhere I want. No, you can't. Oh my gosh. I got work to do and you got to move. I move make my me. Car. Get out of here. Make me. Get out of here. Mm, the make me. Please won't make it. No, they won't. Yes, they will. No, they won't. Yes, they will. No, they won't. Yes. No, they won't. Yes, they will. Public property. You are very, very, I don't know where you were brought up, but your mother did a bad job. And you're training your daughter just like that. Like you do to your like mother? You're a bully. Like my you did to your mother? mother? You don't know. Oh, my yeah. And like you, you did to your mother? My mother loved me. And like me, you I owe that lady money over there? I owe nobody nothing. I'm yeah. a millionaire. I'm a millionaire. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm a millionaire. Do you hear you're that? You're not. People? You got a little piece of junk of a house. In she's a millionaire. Do you hear that? Yes, I am. She's a millionaire. a millionaire, but she has to have reduced taxes because she's a millionaire. She has it's to get money because she has a millionaire. You've been checking out my finances i know everything about you you checking out and where's your you're checking out. what happened to clark he's coming oh. he's coming he's on his way how come he's a he's on his way how come he hasn't married it's you yet it's none of your business yet oh. it's none of your business because there's no wedding there there's no, no fiance no, there's yes, nothing there is oh my right. god Wait, right. where'd you book your wedding i want to make sure i go it's not you're not going i wouldn't have a fat star like you come to my wedding. that's okay i find it's out where it is anyway fat number Witness the fury of a disgruntled customer at this fast food restaurant. As the weight becomes too much to handle, the woman's anger erupts into a chaotic display of object throwing and attempts to jump over the counter, leaving the workers bewildered and the atmosphere tense. Take a look. Evidence. <laughs> Okay. 
The woman in this clip is confronted by a guy filming her after not picking up after her dog, and she replies by saying, mind your own business. Let's play the clip and see how it unfolds. Do you need a bag for that, for the poop? You are right? Do you have one? They're over there, they're in that thing. You gotta pick it up. No, I'm not. It's a fine. I'm not. You mind your own and pick up your shit. No, I'm not. Mind your own business. I'm not. I'm gonna call the manager. They don't care. They will. I've already called them. They will. They don't care about over there. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. You feel like a big. You feel like a big now where you are. Why am I? Because you are. Why am I big? Because you're mine. Because you don't pick up your dog poop. No. Because you don't mind your own business. It is my business. I live here. I live here. So what? I live here. So what? It, it's it's in your lease. You have to pick up your dog. So what? So pick it up. So what? So pick it up. They so do what? sound like children You're arguing. You're nuts, and so is your friend. She needs a good psychiatrist. <laughs> That's you. Yeah, I'm the psychiatrist right now. Yeah, and you're a gardener too, right? Yeah, I am. So what? No, you're not. Yeah, I am. Well, then go garden somewhere. Whatever. It seems this Karen doesn't mind having some dog poop in the area.